Yo, 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 Chris Blair here. Just finishing up lunch at a Korean restaurant. Um, I just wanted to talk about Facebook ads. I mean, I've been going around looking at the uh, different Shopify groups and I'm seeing a lot of people um, saying that they're struggling with Facebook ads, that they can't get result with Facebook ads. And I want to talk about how you can solve that problem. Um, and we're going to dig, dig, dig deep into that. Um, and while I'm waiting, um, I just want to show you guys wait for lunch, wait for people to get on. Letting the notifications go out a little bit here. I had this for, I wish I would have, would have shown, finished eating, I had this for lunch, man. This thing was amazing. Um, this is like Korean beef dish with uh, tofu, spicy sauce, some green vegetables. I mean, it was really amazing. I don't know how much Korean food you guys eat, but I, I, even though I live in Japan, I love, one of my favorite things to do is, is eat, eat Korean food. But uh, tight, uh, love Asian food, man. Yep, yep, definitely. Okay, so this conversation is going to be about Facebook ads. Now, people will often, you know, when it comes to Facebook, so you got to think about what is Facebook's job. What is what is the job of advertising? Okay, what does it do? Right. True, there's a Facebook pixel. That, you know, you can optimize for purchase. Right, right. Even though that says optimize for purchase or optimize for add to cart or optimize for click. Well, a bunch of people just walked in, I'll just continue anyway. But the thing is, right, at the end of the day, right, even though you try to optimize for purchase and Facebook uses the pixel data to go in and, and use that to, to try to find people who are bought from your website or bought from that product before and try to find people who have similar traits. But ultimately, Facebook's got, got one job and that is to send you traffic. That's exactly what Facebook ads are for, sending you traffic. Okay, so, I mean, I just want to really emphasize what, what Facebook's job is. It's to send you traffic. So, you know, it really, when I when I see these people saying over and over, my Facebook ads are not, Facebook ads are not converting, Facebook ads are not converting. It's not job, Facebook's job to convert your ads. It's not their job. Their job is to take data from the pixel, your targeting, right, and send you traffic that is likely to take that option, right? That person who visited your website converting comes down to you and your offer. Period, right? And so, so first and foremost, you got to structure an offer that's likely to entice them to take action on that. Okay, so but I'm, I'm just, right now I'm just talking whether you're selling physical products or digital products or whatever. Right? You have to have a, a product or service that's priced right that people are interested in, okay? If you don't have that, you're not gonna make sales, period, okay? Now, people will say often, say, well, you know, um, my that product was selling really well, well that service was selling well, but now it's died down. Well, guys, keep in mind, products and stuff and services have life cycles, right? The reason being is, when you advertise a lot on Facebook, one particular product, you reach a point where you've really hit that marketplace with it, guys. There was a time when those spinny deals were hot, the hottest thing out of the sun in 2016. People were selling them. Now you can't sell those spinny things even if you tried. I have a, a particular hat on my website that I sold 22,000 units of. Um, if we advertise it now, that hat without its exact slogan doesn't convert. Just doesn't. I mean, we make some sales, but it doesn't convert for profit. Okay? They lose money. And the reason being is, is we ran our course with it. Okay? So products and services have life cycles. All right? And, and sometimes, by the way, the, people may have seen, your, seen the images you're using all over and over again. So sometimes you just want to mix up the images, right? One, one cool trick that we like to do on our sales pages is, is, the, is to take customer photos and put them on the sales pages, right? So that's a new, fresh image, a new, fresh view, right? Or get the product yourself and take photos of it and, and, and upload it, right? So sometimes changing the image can often make an impact. So the point is, one, things have life cycles, but two... Often the images you use on your on your site can, as long as if you change them and offer a new perspective, then then you might induce people to buy. Okay. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is this. Okay, so so that's it. I'm assuming you're getting the traffic or you're not converting, right? But what if you what if you you're advertising and you're not getting any clicks? People are not clicking over your website. What does that mean? Okay. Well, that means that your product offer is not good anymore. Okay. It may, may have been good in the past, but it may have gone the slide cycle. So we got a couple options there. Okay, number one, try a new image. 
Often try an image. Two, try video ad. Right? Try something different, right? Um, that can that can help revive a product sometimes, right? Use use customer photos, right? There's other other things you can do, right? But anyway, new images, right? Now, if the brand new product, oh by the way, just try a new product. Eventually, the product's gonna die down, so you gotta move on to a new product. Now, if it's a brand new product and you haven't advertised it, right? And you advertise, you're not getting any, any engagement on the post, you're not getting shares on the post, and you're not getting link clicks. That is just a product that is not going to sell wealthy paid advertising. And one of the misnomers I see this all the time is, well, Chris, this product sells well on Amazon. Or people, people come from Amazon, right? A lot of the Amazon FBA people come over to Facebook and then they start advertising their product through a Shopify store. And they're like, yeah, I, I sell this on, on Facebook. I sell this on Amazon. I can't get to move on, on, on Facebook. And, and it's because it's a different type of person you're targeting, right? And here's why. An Amazon shopper is going to Amazon and shopping. Okay, I mean, I buy stuff at Amazon a lot. And, you know, I'm, and then when I'm in there, I'm going there to shop. And, and I'm also some, some of the extra stuff to the court cart that I wasn't planning to buy when I see something cool, related items, right? I'm in a shopping mode. When you hit someone with Facebook ads, you're interrupting their day. You're interrupting. It's called interruption marketing. And they're not in the shopping mode right you're in, trying to entice them to go shopping okay it's a totally different sale okay all right guys you think this is good stuff and you learned something from this uh one you can i'll put a link below um in the thread there you can join my mastermind it's a hundred dollars a month you can cancel any time you also have seven day full guarantee refund period you can refund for any reason if you decide it's not for you it's absolutely worth it. you get a lot of my ongoing support one thing that makes a huge difference in my mastermind versus other masterminds is it's not just a course, it's a true mastermind. I am in that group every day answering questions. I do live stream uh, reviews. People just watching in a car loud. Um, anyway, also I can take on one private coaching student at this time. So if you're interested in private coaching, you can private message me. I'll go ahead and answer any questions. So I'll put the link to my Ecom Vantage course and mastermind in the comments below. If you're interested in coaching, private message me. Let's see what we got here. Ken said, Ken says, Chris, he said images we should put some on the product change one from videos we got yeah I mean you can put videos on your sales page although it can slow down the load speed of your page right so you got to be got to make sure that it doesn't slow down your load speed too much but yeah you can put any you can put customer photos and th and testimonial video on um, photos on your on your page yes All right, any questions, my friends? Okay, click the link. This is gonna be in the thread there, the comment thread, I put in the comment thread. If you wanna join my course in Mastermind, if you want private coaching, private message me, and we'll see you in the next video, cheers. Thanks for watching the video. To watch the next one, click right here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here.